Hi YouTubers and as uh, mentioned previous this is my project to um, update the motherboard into this Amiga A1200 and put a kickstart 3.1 kickset ROMs in there and install Workbench 3.5 here are the tools needed, that's the A1200 itself well, it's going to be cannibalized, which was given to me free for, for free of charge by a friend of mine. Here we have the replacement motherboard and the IDE cable and a power lead for that IDE cable. That's for the floppy drive that came with it. My anti static risk wrister band. Oh, by the way, please forgive. Um, the hum in the background, I'm having to do this in my kitchen so um, the fridge will be humming all the way through this tutorial I'm afraid. Uh, there we have the kickstart ROMs, there's the 3.1 kickstart ROMs, I, obviously I haven't got the anti-static wristband on yet so I can't touch them yet otherwise I might risk damaging them. Uh, here we have the two 44 pin IDE cables for the uh, which will eventually be connected to the CF flash drive which will be the replacement of the hard drive there's two cables there which I bought from AmigaKit.com and here we have the uh, the CF adapters that converts the IDE 44 pin to CF flash compact flash cards so you basically you put a compact flash card in that side and there's your IDE pins on that side I'll only be using one, I've got a spare there but I might be using that one today, I'll only be using the one here Next we'll have, uh, there's two floppies, the one on the left doesn't work, it, uh, there's something wrong on the read right heads, I need to look into that, but for today's um, exercise, this is the one I'll be using, this is the one I got with my motherboard, so I shall be using that, then we go over there to the left and we see the actual SanDisk Ultra Compact Flash Card, it's a 4 gig as you can see and there it is, there's a the little beauty there's the blighter and that's going to be the hard drive for the new system and then we move on to the operating system which will be Workbench 3.5 or OS 3.5, the new Amiga one um, from the tutorial I've seen from Retro Sofa you have to install uh, Workbench 3.1 which is on here it comes with it and then once you've done that then you need to um, obviously upgrade to the full 3.1 and then basically we've got the tools I'm going to be using I mean obviously I've got a set of screwdrivers here those will be helping me to undo the, the case etc etc but more importantly these ones here these are very useful tools you can get these from eBay for really cheap a couple of quid I picked these up for so four piece pick, pick and hook set and it's really good if you want to uh, take any electronic, like you know, the components there. Because I'll have to keep, take out the kickstart ROMs. So as you can see, you've got hooks, you've got um, other hooks that are sort of um, 45 degrees, others that are about 35, 40 degrees, and obviously that one there. And it gives you a bit of leverage when you want to take out prize out the pins. And you've got to sort of gently coax them out, you know, going from one side to the other side. Don't just force out one end, then the other end, because you can snap the legs quite easily. So. It's a very de delicate operation, but these tools make it extremely easy to do, um, as I've done it before. So, yeah, I recommend if you're going to, going to do this, invest in a couple of quid and get yourself a set of them. Right, I'm going to put this camera back on the stand now and take apart the uh, Amiga 1200.